Hello, I'm Ondra Žiška and I will introduce you the latest feature of WinDrite, which is a tool for migration of the configuration of JBoss Enterprise Application Platform or EAP from version 5 to version 6. Support for other servers will be added later. The latest feature is that the migration logic is externalized into XML files. Let's see how it works. The big picture is First, query the source server for collection of information. Second, iterate over these collections. And third, take the actions based on that what is found. Now let's see how, it, how to define that. The XML file contains a definition of so-called migrator, which is a logical group of actions covering certain configuration area for example, data sources. Migrator has a name, which is then used by the program to refer to it. It contains JaxBeans declarations, queries, and actions. JaxBeans declaration tells the program what classes will be used for unmarshalling the configuration. Since all of the application servers store their configuration mostly in XML files, JXB is a natural choice. Then comes an example of a query. In this case, it's an XML query. There are more types for example, properties file query. Different types target different ways of how configuration is stored in the source server. More details about queries can be found in the project's wiki pages. All queries have an ID by which their result is referred further in the actions. Subject label is used in user interface and for HTML reports and error messages. Other query attributes are type specific. Actions define the actual steps taken during migration. Again, there are different types specified by the type attribute. Few types are built in, like CLI command action, XSLT action, file copy, and so on. Custom actions may be implemented either in Java or Groovy. See the documentation for details. A reference to the action may be stored in a variable. If you are familiar with ant, you can think of the action as an end task. Typically, you need to migrate multiple configuration items. These items are stored in a collections returned by the aforementioned queries or queries. To iterate over the collections, the for each element is used. You refer the query and declare the name of the variable to store the item for each iteration step. In this case, it's it, inspired by Groovy, and also it's an abbreviation of item. Inside the loop, you may declare another loop or an action. This way, in combination with queries, you have quite powerful tools at hand. But it's not all. As you probably noticed, there are expressions inside the values. The syntax used is Java Expression Language 2.0. The values 
available for the expression language are documented, but generally you can use applications configuration, applications arguments, checks bbins loaded from the queries, and any parent in the nested constructs, like for each and action. The filter element is a condition in a form of a groovy expression which controls whether given construct will be processed for the current iteration. The same variables are available for the script as for the expressions at the current level. An action nested in other action creates an action which is dependency of the parent action. In effect, this means that it will be performed prior to the parent action, and if it fails, parent action also fails. Lastly, the warning element attached attaches a warning to the action. Each action may have a list of text messages which are presented to the user and are used when the user's manual intervention is needed. In these cases, migration of certain configuration item is not supported yet or migration is not possible, for example, there is no equivalent in the target server, or certain discrepancy or inconsistency was found in the source server's configuration. So, so these are the externalized rules in a nutshell, and as you can see, the combination of instruments gives you quite powerful tool. Please refer to the project documentation to find out about all the implemented JAXBBeans, queries, actions, and, uh, and also how to implement your own, which, is, which will be also covered by the upcoming videos. Thank you for watching and see you soon.